Hey guys, it's Kevin again. This is going to be another um, classic movie review for you guys. Well, th now this movie, it's not really a classic movie. Like, it's not a movie that I don't know if a lot of people know about. Like, I think people know about it, but it's not classic like the other movies. Um, the reason I call it classic is because if it's an older movie, and a lot of people know it's a classic, and this is a movie that I stumbled across on Netflix. Um, I read the plot of it. I saw the cast. The cast looked very interesting in this movie. And, um, I saw this movie was leaving Netflix, um, July 1st, and you know what, I'm like, okay, I have to watch this now, and I just finished watching it, and that movie is the 1999, um, movie, Girl Interrupted. Um, this movie, I didn't know anything about it. I just watched the trailer yesterday, and I was very intrigued by the trailer. I thought the trailer looked very, very interesting, and I was really looking forward to this movie. So, how did I... What did I think of Girl Interrupted? I really enjoyed this movie. I didn't love this movie. I'll say it right now. I didn't love it, but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this movie a lot. It kind of reminded me of, like, a cross between American Horror Story, Asylum, and Orange is the New Black. And I'll get to that. But I really enjoyed this movie. There were a lot of really great things about this movie. I just, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a, just a really, really awesome. A lot of really great stuff in it. Um, let's talk about the movie. The movie's about this girl um, who was a real person. It takes place in the 60s, um, 1967. And it's based on a real girl who actually wrote a real um, memoir called Girl Interrupted. Um, Susanna Kaysen, I believe she's still alive today. She um, has checked herself into a hospital because she's taking an overdose of aspirin. And, um, basically, everyone, her parents, her, you know, teachers, everyone thinks that she is, is trying to commit suicide. Um, but she's saying, oh, no, 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 that's not, that's not what I'm doing at all. I'm just, I was just, I wasn't trying to commit suicide. And everyone is, you know, um, very, very worried for her. She doesn't have any direction in school. Like, she doesn't want to go to college. She just wants to be a writer. And they are convinced that, you know, it is, it's the 1960s. And basically, because she has no direction, because she doesn't want to go to college... They decide the best thing to do is to send her to a mental institution, a mental institution, and uh, that's where she ends up going. She she goes to this um, mental asylum, um, an eighteen month eighteen months in a mental institution, basically to get her to basically clear her mind and things like that. And at first she's like, I don't want to be here, but she ends up actually becoming very good friends. She ends up having a very good time there. But the whole movie, it's all about her wondering, Am I crazy? She doesn't know if she's crazy or not. But that's basically what Girl Interrupted is about. And I was very intrigued by that plot. I thought it was a very interesting plot, and I was really looking forward to it. Um, let's get to the best part of this movie. By far the best part of this movie is the acting. The acting in this movie is very, very strong. Um, particularly, um, one performance, which I'll talk about. But let's first talk about our, our, the main person here, Winona Ryder. Uh, previously, um, to this movie, I've seen Winona Ryder in two movies. Um, Edward Scissorhands and, uh, Heathers. Those are the two things I've seen her in. I loved her in both those movies. I thought she was very, very good in both those. I reviewed both those movies to you. Um, I thought she was great in uh, Edward Scissorhands, and she was great in Heathers. But I think this is my favorite performance from her. She did a really great job in this movie. Um, she really went all out with this movie. Like, you really felt bad for her. And the thing is, she's kind of going back and forth between the whole movie, thinking, am I crazy or am I not crazy? What what actually is happening to me? Am I really crazy or am I just a mat? Or am I just um, you know a person who just doesn't know what they're doing right now? Is she actually crazy? And I like that she narrated the movie. It was very well done. Um, I just really like that. I saw. I like that we got some flashbacks to her character as well. Like we got to see her high school graduation. Everyone made fun of her. Like she was a class. Like she was um, a joke to everyone in school. Um, you know, I believe, you know, she was asked to speak at school, and when she went to get her diploma, she, um, everyone made fun of her, um, so we saw that, um, I thought that was very interesting, though, that she did a really great job in the movie, she was really good, but by far the best part of this movie, surprisingly, is Angelina Jolie, oh my god, this is by far the best performance I've seen from Angelina Jolie, who, in my opinion, is not a very good actress, I really don't think she's a good actress prior to this movie, now that I've seen this movie, she's a very good actress. She really is great in this movie. When you give her very good material to work with, she plays this woman, um, Lisa, who is basically diagnosed as a psychopath. She's very rebellious, she's abusive, uh, she befriends Susanna, um, she befriends Susanna, and, um, basically, 
you know, she's tried to escape many times. Um, she, I just really liked her story. She's very rebellious, very, very, um, you know, like, kind of feared by everyone. But she also was a, but she also, as we know, had a lot of problems, and she was a very good friend to Susanna. I really liked their friendship, and Angelina Jolie, she actually won, um, she, she won uh, the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, which she definitely does deserve because she's amazing in this movie. There's this one scene that had me almost in tears. It was so, so good. Um, Brittany Murphy's in this movie. She's in the movie for one scene, but it's really, really important, and I'll talk about that. But her character, Daisy, very interesting character. She is a character that actually has been released from um, the mental institution, and everyone's jealous of her. And I thought she had a very interesting character. I liked her character a lot, and I thought she was very interesting. Um, another character that I liked was uh, her roommate, was Suzanne's roommate, Georgina. Uh, she's a pathological liar. Like, she's basically, she lies all the time. But she was a very good character. I really enjoyed her character. And also, um, Elizabeth Moss's Polly. I felt so bad for her. She is this, um, she basically is, uh, basically has the mind of a child. And she gets very easily upset, and she has, like, scars all around her head. There's this one scene where she just starts to go insane because she's so crazy. And she just starts to go crazy, and she starts screaming like a child would. But that's just part of her disorder. And I thought she did a really great job, and I felt really bad for her character. But I liked her I loved her character at the same time. She was great. And the only other character well, I think I'll talk about is... All, all the other girls are fine, but the only other character I'll talk about are two more... Jared Leto as uh, Toby, very, very good. I thought he played, he was um, Suzanne's boyfriend. Very limited role, but very, very good in the role. I thought the scene that he was in was very well done. I really enjoyed his scene. And Whoopi Goldberg is also in this movie. She was amazing in this movie. Not as good as Ghost, but she was really good in this movie. I liked I liked the way that she was a very fair... Um, she, was, she was basically the, R, the RN in this movie. Very fair RN, you know, very fair to them. Kind of tried to be a motherly figure to them. But she doesn't put up with shit. She doesn't put up with shit, and you saw that in the movie. Um, I like that about her character, but I like that she tried to make them feel like they were at home. I like that as well. She definitely did a really good job in the movie. Alright, so those are basically all the acting. Let's get to, um, let's get to spoilers. If you have not seen Girl Interrupted, there are quite a few spoilers in this movie. Um, it's not really, like, a thought-provoking movie or anything, but, um, let's just talk about it. So the biggest thing, of course, in this movie is the ending, where, of course, we find out that, um, one, that Susanna has a borderline personality disorder, um, which I thought was interesting, and also, there's that ending where we find out that, um, Brittany Murphy's character, they, um, bullied her so much that she actually hanged herself, and when she, um, hanged herself in the movie, I was very surprised, I'm like, okay, this movie just got a lot more interesting, it really got interesting after that, um, that was really, really big, and, uh, I thought that was definitely very, very interesting when she hanged herself, I really felt bad in that moment, I almost cried in that part, that was very, very good. Let's all get the one scene that I really liked the most in this movie. Um, Lee, when Lisa tried to get her revenge on Susanna and, like, read through her diary and everyone turned on her, and then, um, Susanna turned on Lisa, um, and Lisa basically tried to kill herself, but then she realized that, you know, she, she couldn't do it, and, uh, she finally suffered a, a mental breakdown, kind of realized she can't keep doing what she's doing. I thought that was definitely very well done, and, you know... In the book, um, you know, I looked up in the book. The book is a little bit different from the movie. In the book, they actually talk about what happened in real life. You know, um, Susanna actually did meet up with Lisa, and they're very good friends now. Lisa got married, and th she's actually sane now. So I think what they're trying to show in, in, at the end of the movie is that Lisa's going to be okay. She's going to eventually get over what she has, and she's actually going to become sane, which is good, because we did see a sane side of her in the movie, which I definitely really enjoyed. And the only other thing I think I'll talk about in the movie is the very last speech um, that uh, Susanna says, where she's like, I never found out if I was crazy. Maybe it's not that I'm crazy. Maybe life is just crazy. And I really want to talk about that. I think what she's basically trying to say there is that she's trying to say how, um, you know, I think um, Susanna's trying to say that she is crazy. She's not crazy. It's just that, like, the way every, everything, everyone is somewhat crazy. Like, everyone's somewhat crazy. And I think that's what she's trying to say. Just because you're in a mental institution does not mean you're crazy. She wasn't exactly crazy. She really just needed some help, and she got the help that she needed. But she wasn't crazy. She was just a girl who needed some help, and she got it. So... I like that we got that at the end of the movie. I thought that was a good way to end the movie, and I really enjoyed that overall. I thought they did a really good job of uh, ending the movie. Definitely very good with that. All right, let's talk about the directing of the movie. The, the, the movie's directed by James Mangold. Not a very well-known um, director or anything. 
He directed the movie very well, though. I thought he did a really, um, good job with the movie. Um, yeah, I like that they made the movie very, like, dark, effort, you know, very dark. I like that the movie, I like that while it was dark, it had a lot of heart to it. I really enjoyed that. And by the way, the reason I think this is, like, Orange is New Black is because, like Orange is New Black, you had all those witty characters. Like, even though these characters had these mental disorders, you really cared for each and every one of them. You really wanted them to get the help. You really loved each and every one of them. They they really were just... I, I love the way they worked as a group. Very, very well done. The ensemble... Like, the, the, the way they worked as an ensemble was very, very well done. I thought they did a great job with that. Um, but definitely very good directing. I love the tone of this movie as well. The movie is very dark. The movie is very realistic in the sense that this is what really happened. Like, the thing is, the good thing is the woman's alive, so they just took what was from the book and put it in the movie. But it's basically like, this is exactly what would really happen. And I think it's also very interesting that in the sick that, you know, movie takes place in the 60s, because this is what actually happened to people in the 60s. You know, you said you, you were, you were troubled, they sent you to a mental institution. Um, and I just thought that was very, very big, and I really liked that about the movie. You, I liked the, um, the, t you really felt like you were in the 60s as well. A lot of 60s music played, especially Downtown by Petula Clark, very important song in the movie. Um, a lot of 60s music played, a lot of 60s clothing, just, you really felt like it was the 60s, and they did a very good job with saying the tone and the time period for the movie, so I really enjoyed that. But overall, I really enjoyed Girl Interrupted. Is it, um, an amazing movie? No. Is it, is it, like, one of the saddest movies I've ever seen? No. Is it a really good movie? Yes, it's a great movie. I definitely recommend you guys check it out. It's a very good movie, if you guys definitely, um, get a chance to see it. It's not a very well-known movie, but it's on Netflix. It's a really good movie. I highly recommend you guys check it out for, um, especially Angelina Jolie's performance. Like, I really changed my way I think about Angelina Jolie. It really made me realize when you give her good source material, and you give her a good source material to work with and a good script to work with, she's quite a good actress, and she's really good in the movie. But that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next review, which will be my review for the new episode of Orange is New Black. So I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.